it can't be india alliance yeah, yeah. in the alliance or say i dot n dot d dot i dot a dot in the alliance what is the last a for congress means mehngai it's the common man's slogan used to be and continues to be congress ai mehngai lai is an immediate propaganda uh, of after the budget was presented in the house if the inferences that i've treated i've spoken about only two states and left the others out it means monies are not even going to those states is an immediate propaganda uh, of after the budget was presented in the house which was taken up in a big way by the indi alliance India, India, India. It can't be India alliance. Yeah. Yes. India alliance. So I'll say I dot N dot D dot I dot A dot. India alliance, India. sir. India. Therefore, if, what is the last A for? What? How can it be India alliance? Mr. India Chidambaram. alliance. Mr. Chidambaram, uh, not while sitting. Please, you are a very senior member. Please and maintain order. See not yielding. Sir, if only two states were named and others were not, I just want to highlight what happened in the earlier budgets, which were presented by Congress-led UPA. Sir, in the interim budget of 2009-10, only Bihar and Uttar Pradesh were mentioned. All right, they came back to power in 2009-10. did they increase it yes they increased it to how many to 8 rest 20 states were not even mentioned are they clearly going to have to admit now that they did not send any money to 20 states because they didn't mention it in the speech so i i went back to reading every one of them sir 20 uh, 2004 5 only 11 states were mentioned 17 were not 10 were mentioned in the next one 18 were not so like that i can go on saying does that mean during their time for those states which they did not mention they didn't send anything to their other states no even that wasn't true they sent money to all states but only chose to spoke speak about some states if that is true for them but it can't be true for me is it protest outside the parliament say oh other states are being ignored what a deliberate attempt to mislead people and i condemn that so inflation there's been a lot of discussion on that sir i'd like to give the data give the data and also differentiate between the dif- inflation which was present during upa and our approach towards dealing with inflation now so that we can see how inflation has been handled both under the upa and the nda so we saw double digit high inflation period under the upa because of the policies which were reckless and inappropriate policies were taken on one hand and inept measures to control inflation on the other domestic inflation so this is a very important statement sir domestic inflation used to be higher than the global average that is very significant to be noticed post the global financial crisis of 2008 upa government took stimulus measures to boost the economy the problem arose and i'm sorry i have to say this when economists who are repeatedly quoted to us saying reputed economists you are not that when leaders of that stage did not know when and how to withdraw the stimulus the stimulus which was in, uh, brought in after the global financial crisis did not know when to and how to withdraw the stimulus leading to a high double digit inflation between 2009 and 13 high fiscal deficit as a result and debt as a result crowding out private investment so between january 2012 and april 2014 retail inflation was more than 9% in 22 out of the 28 months so let's understand the gravity of this inflation 
which we have noticed during that time. No supply side measures were effectively taken in those days. And as a result, relief, even partial relief, was not available for the consumers. UP inherited a very stable macroeconomic environment. Atal Ji, when his uh, term was over in 2004, had left behind a very strong Indian economy. Inflation was only at 3.8% from 1999 to 2000. And to 2003-04, comparatively, average annual inflation rose to 8.1% between 2004-05 and 2013-14. Where is 3.8% and where is 8.1%, sir? That's their record on inflation handling. High fiscal deficit, decreased prioritization of capital expenditure, and co that contributed to sustained high inflation averaging double digits. For example, sir, India's inflation averaged between, averaged at 10.1% January to April 2013, compared to the average of 3.9% across all the emerging markets. If emerging markets are countries where we can compare ourselves, they were only at 3.9%, whereas you had UPA keeping our inflation at 10.1%. So whereas, to contrast this with our period, over the last decade, sir, India's average inflation was only 5.1%, lower than the 5.8% average among the emerging economies. So we are close to it, and even lesser than the average of the emerging economies' inflation. That is the difference between UPA's handling of inflation and India's handling of inflation. Sir, Congress means mehengai is something the common man knows as well. Because the common man's slogan used to be and continues to be, Congress ai mehengai lai. This has been the parlance of the normal people. So, Congress matlab mehengai.